Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how to enable and configure dynamic memory in Hyper-V virtual machine. Dynamic memory in Hyper-V is a feature that allows a virtual machine to automatically adjust the amount of memory allocated to it based on its workload demands. It helps optimize memory utilization by enabling the Hyper-V host to assign more memory to VMs when needed and reduce the amount of memory allocated when the demand is lower. With dynamic memory, we can specify the amount of startup memory that the VM can use, set the range of available physical memory for a specific VM and determine the VM's priority for memory allocation. Physical memory can be efficiently and dynamically assigned to the VM on an as-needed basis and with minimal performance impact. As a result, you have more granular control over memory usage and enhanced resource optimization. Without dynamic memory, you must power up the virtual machine in order to adjust the amount of memory assigned to the VM. With dynamic memory, the Hyper-V host can automatically adjust the amount of memory assigned to a virtual machine in real time. Let's take a look at the Hyper-V dynamic memory settings and explore how to configure them properly. Open the Hyper-V manager. Either create a new VM or choose an existing one to configure dynamic memory. If the VM is running, turn it off as dynamic memory cannot be enabled while the VM is powered on. In our example, as you can see, Win11-VM01 is in running state. Let's right click on it and select settings. Go to the memory section and as you can see, the checkbox to enable dynamic memory is grey out. The reason behind this is the virtual machine is in running state. So to enable dynamic memory, you must turn off your virtual machine. Let me show you one more thing as well. Click OK. Let's right click on this VM and select connect. Let's right click on the task bar and select task manager. Go to resources and check the current memory. I have assigned 4 GB RAM to this virtual machine. Let's turn off this virtual machine. Let me close this. Now let's start the process to enable dynamic memory for Win11-VM01 virtual machine. Let's right click on Win11-VM01 and select settings. Go to memory and now you have the option to enable dynamic memory. Before configuring Hyper-V dynamic memory settings, it's recommended to first understand how these components work and the benefits they can offer. The memory tab controls the way that physical memory is allocated to the virtual machine. Remember that memory is not a shared resource in the way that CPU is, so memory dedicated to a specific guest is unusable for any other purpose while the guest is turned on. This is the amount of memory the virtual machine has configured when it is powered on. This is also known as startup RAM. This amount doesn't change even with dynamic memory enabled. For VMs that do not or cannot use dynamic memory, this number represents the entire amount of memory that the VM will have available. Once the VM is powered on and has completed booting, the dynamic memory settings if enabled will take effect and automatically adjust the memory allocation up or down as required. Startup memory sets the minimum amount of memory that the VM will begin with when it starts. This is the baseline amount of memory allocated to the virtual machine at boot time. Next, we have the option to enable the dynamic memory feature for the selected virtual machine. Select the checkbox to enable dynamic memory. Keep in mind that dynamic memory also requires the guest to have integration services installed and running. Otherwise, the virtual machine will always be limited to its startup memory value. When you decide to configure dynamic memory, there are few values you should set up. As the name suggests, minimum RAM is the minimum amount of physical RAM that the host will reserve for the virtual machine. When the VM indicates that its RAM needs have decreased, the host will begin to reduce the allocated RAM, but it will never drop below this minimum value. There is no guarantee that a virtual machine can actually be reduced to this amount of memory. 
the value can be lowered but not raised while the guest is online. The second option is maximum RAM which defines the maximum amount of memory that can be allocated to the virtual machine. The Hyper-V host will increase the memory allocation as workload demands rise, continuing to add memory until it reaches the maximum limit beyond which no additional memory will be allocated to the virtual machine. Similar to the minimum, there's no guarantee that this amount will always be allocated to the guest. The minimum setting can go up to 1 terabyte and it can be specified even if it exceeds the physical RAM installed on the host. While the guest is online, this value can be increased but not decreased. The third and final option in this section is memory buffer. This specifies the amount of memory that Hyper-V will attempt to keep in reserve for potential increases to dynamic memory allocation. The specified value such as 10% is dynamic and calculated based on the amount of memory currently assigned to the guest. For example, a guest with 2 GB of memory will have a 200 MB reserve while the same VM with 4 GB will have a 400 MB reserve. This reserve helps speed up memory allocation when additional memory is needed by the virtual machine. However, if the host machine's total memory capacity becomes low, these reserves may be reduced. So simply, memory buffer sets the amount of extra memory that Hyper-V will allocate to the VM when needed. A typical value ranges from 10% to 30%, though it can vary depending on your specific workload requirements. The last section is memory weight, which features a slider control that lets you adjust the memory assignment priority of the virtual machine. This is designed to help Hyper-V resolve memory allocation issues when there is a contention, typically during host startup. If several virtual machines are starting at the same time and there isn't enough memory for all of them, virtual machines with a higher memory weight will be prioritized and started first. If memory becomes available later, such as through dynamic memory usage, virtual machines with a lower priority will be activated. This slider also determines the priority order for dynamic memory allocation. Configure these settings according to your organization's specific requirements. Once you have configured the settings, click OK to apply the changes. So we have successfully enabled dynamic memory for our virtual machine Win 11-VM01. Let's start the VM again and it will now dynamically adjust its memory based on demand within the limits we have specified. Let's right click on win11-vm01 and select start. The virtual machine has started. Let's again right click on win11-vm01 and select connect. Dynamic memory is a valuable tool for Hyper-V administrators. It allows for running multiple VMs while preventing RAM overutilization and dynamically balancing resource consumption based on the actual VM load. When you are running low on RAM or looking to optimize resource management, you will know to enable this feature. That's all for this video on how to enable and configure dynamic memory in Hyper-V virtual machine. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.